then now the author is going to go on to talk about the things that are mustahab for the person who's fasting. So he says, وَيُسْتَحَبُ لِسَّائِمِ كَفُّ لِسَانِهِ يعني كَفُّ لِسَانِهِ Meaning to uh, preserve his tongue from فُدُولُ uh, الْكَلَامِ Meaning useful speech or vain speech or speech that doesn't have any benefit. And also to protect it from, you know, backbiting and spreading rumors and so on and so forth. Uh, so kefuli sanihi from those things that are not beneficial are those things that are harmful while a person is fasting. وَتَعَجِيلُ قَضَاءِ مَا فِي ذِمَّتِي مِنَ السَّوْمِ And to hurry up to make up those days of fasting that are recommended. I mean that a person has uh, as a qada. So for example, a person misses two days or three days or four days of Ramadan. It is mustahab for them to make make those uh, make up fasts as soon as possible. It's not obligatory, but it is mustahab. What the tabu'uhu, and it is also mustahab to make them follow each other in the sense that if a person has to make up prayers. Uh, I mean, to make up fast from Ramadan, it is mustahab that they be done, uh, that they be done together. So, example, you have two days to make up fast on Tuesday, fast on Wednesday. It is permissible for you to fast on the Tuesday, and then next week Wednesday, or next week Friday, or next week Saturday. What's important, what's obligatory, is that they finish the number of makeups that they have. But it is mustahab that they be uh, done day after day. So that's what he means by. Uh, then he goes on to now he's going to go on to mention the days in which the the days are the uh, the days during specific times of the month when it is recommended for Muslims to fast because of the many virtues that are mentioned in hadith regarding fasting on these days so he says it is mustahab for a person to fast the day of Arafah for the person who is not I mean for the person who is not on Hajj it's not it's not recommended for the person who is on Hajj this is specific to the person who is not on Hajj uh, because those on uh, those who are making Hajj should uh, should not fast they should eat because they need the energy to uh, move and make their way to Arafah and fasting the 10th day of the Al-Hijjah, which is the month of Ramadan, and fasting during uh, the Muharram. Yeah, you're fasting the first, uh, fasting the all of the uh, all of the Muharram, but the first 10 days are are preferable. What Rajab, fasting during Rajab. And then he mentions with Sha'aban and fasting during the month of Sha'aban and it is recommended to fast the, the uh, three days every month. And then he says and it is disliked. Uh, some of the people held that the three days that you should fast are the three white days. And what do they mean by the three white days? The three days in which there is a full moon, which is the 13th and the 14th and the 15th of every month according to the Islamic calendar. But Imam Malik disliked that. That's what he says here. وَكَرِهَ مَالِكٌ أَن تَكُونَ الْبِيضَ لِفَرَارِهِ مِنَ التَّحْدِيدِ uh, Imam Malik disliked it because he didn't like the... the uh, he didn't like making tahdeed. We find this a lot of the time. Imam Malik, what does it mean by tahdeed? That he doesn't like to specify something that is not established in the sunnah. So for example, uh, another example of tahdeed. Tahdeed means to specify something to a specific date or to a specific thing. For example, in the in our school we have, we find in hadith sometimes, uh, it mentions that the Prophet ﷺ did two rakahs uh, for the sunnahs and sometimes it mentions that he did four. So Imam Malik doesn't make tahdeed saying that a person has to pray two 
or uh, two, or he says, or doesn't stipulate that a person has to pay four. He said, what's important is that a person just does his nafila before zuhur, for example, and the nafila after and before the other prayers, but he doesn't stipulate that it should be two or it should be four. So same thing here. He doesn't make a tahdeed saying that a person should do it on a 13th, to 14th, and 15th. All that is important is that a person fasts three days, uh, three days a month. وَكَذَا كَرِهَ السِّيَامَ سِتَّةٍ مِنْ شَوَادٍ مَخَافَةَ أَنْ يُلْحِقَهَا الْجَاهِلُ بِالْرَمَضَانِ And Imam Malik also disliked the fasting of the 10 days, I mean the 6 days of shawad after Ramadan. So many of the scholars of the Madhab, students of Imam Malik, limited that to saying that it meant that the that Imam Malik disliked it مخافت أن يلحقها الجاهل بالرمضان out of fear that a person that an uh, that an ignorant person that a person who wasn't well informed may consider it part of Ramadan, which means that if a person knows that it's not part of Ramadan, and that it's the six days of Shawwal based on a hadith that talks about the virtues, then it is not disliked for that person to fast the six days of Shawwal. So the dislike was for the specific for the specific reason that a person might think that it's part of Ramadan. <laughs>